Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we're gonna to talk about three weight loss tips that you may have never heard before, all right? These are three weight loss strategies that work really, really well, or they're things to think about while you're trying to lose weight at least, all right? Now, I'm telling you this because it's very relevant to my life right now. Uh, on June 1st, I'm gonna be starting a raw vegan cleanse which is slightly different than how I'm eating now. Right now I'm eating raw vegan, but a raw vegan cleanse for me is all about weight loss, shedding excess fat. Toxins get stored in fat, okay? When you remove fat, when you burn fat, when you remove fat from your diet, when you remove fat from your body, you're removing toxins as well. So that's really, really cool. Toxins live in fat cells. When you remove the fat cells, you remove the housing for the toxins. The toxins have no choice but to go bye-bye. So remember the first time, I understood that, I was like, wow, light bulb moment. Cut the fat out, boom, acne went away, just like that. Okay, now let's get to the first tip of the weight loss strategies that we're gonna be talking about right here. First tip, when you're trying to lose weight, it's easy to think, I'll just drastically cut down on calories. And while that will work temporarily, What's gonna happen is there's gonna be a snapback effect. There has to be, it's law. It's, it's a law. You can't just drastically lose a bunch of weight and not have any rebound. There's gonna be a rebound that occurs. So rather than drastically cutting calories, then drastically binging and then re rebounding, which is what most people do, it's what I would do if I drastically cut calories, I'd wanna go binge again. So most people get fat after a water fast. So most people get fat after starving themselves for a while. There has to be a rebound effect. So what you want to do instead is instead of drastically cutting calories and losing weight really, really quickly, lose weight slowly. Don't try and lose more than a pound a day. Okay, aim for a pound a day to a pound a week. Pound a day is not sustainable long term. It's definitely sustainable short term. But aim really for a pound a week. If you can lose a pound to two pounds a week, that's fantastic. Aim for that. That way there's not going to be any lashback snapback effect, okay? But if you're losing a couple pounds a day because you're just not eating, there's going to be binge that's going to occur, all right? So that's the first tip. Just lose weight slowly. Have that balance. Don't go way extreme because then what's going to happen is you're going to go way extreme the other way. Instead, just, just go slightly um, to the weight loss side of things. Sl slightly to the calorie um, cutting. You're not restricting. You just slightly, ever so slightly cutting your calories down a bit. So instead of having 2,200 calories, you're having 2,000 calories. Okay, now second tip is whatever you do, do not feel guilty about slipping up and overeating. It's not gonna throw you off long-term. Slipping up once is not gonna throw you off long-term. What's gonna throw you off long-term is by beating yourself up and feeling guilty for it. Okay, those who feel guilty are those who take more action towards the things that they should not be taking action towards. That's a fact. That's why on cigarette boxes, why do you think the whole cigarette boxes is designed to scare people away and make them feel guilty for, for smoking cigarettes? So that they feel really guilty and they come back and smoke more. Every cigarette package you look at, it looks like this guy's like dying, he's got lung cancer and all this nasty shit. Makes people feel so guilty, and when they feel guilty, they want comfort, so they go for more cigarettes. Same with food. If you overeat on something, or you eat something you know you shouldn't be eating, you're gonna uh, maybe have a tendency to feel guilty about that, but don't feel guilty. It's not gonna be the end of the world. It's not gonna throw off your progress, okay? So don't worry about it, just get right back on track. It's like I'm walking down this path right here. If I get off track by accident, because I'm not paying attention, right? Oh my God, whoops, I went off, went off track a bit here. Even got caught in this branch right here. Oops. We'll correct course, let's get back on track. Oh, there we go, now, now we're good. All right, so we just get back on track. You don't beat ourselves up. It's like your child, your child's learning to walk, they, they get up and walk and they fall. You don't say, you know, little Johnny, what the fuck, why'd you screw up? Get back on there, man, like, what are you doing? You don't give your kid shit, he's learning. Your kid's learning to do anything. You don't wanna give him shit. You don't wanna make him feel guilty. You wanna just allow the process to occur and just observe it, all right? So that's the second tip, don't beat yourself up. The people who feel guiltiest for eating the foods that they know they shouldn't be eating are the ones who continuously do it. It's just a, it's just a mindset thing, okay? You're allowed to go off track. You're allowed to eat whatever you wanna eat 
when you're losing weight, but just uh, do your best to keep it in your, uh, your calorie window and definitely do your best to keep it in your eating window if you're doing intermittent fasting, which really helps with weight loss, but that's a whole other video altogether. So the third tip to losing weight that not many other people are talking about, but it really works, is when it comes to, when it comes time to eat, eat as much juicy fruit as you want. Like eat as much watermelon as you want. You're not gonna gain weight on watermelon. Eat as many oranges or drink as much orange juice as you want. No one gets fat or gains weight on freaking orange juice. Unless they're deathly anorexic and then they're finally getting some calories. But regular person, me, you, watching this video, most likely, we're gonna lose weight on super juicy fruits until we get down to a really slim level. Like if I were just to do pure juicy fruits for the next few months, I'd probably drop like if I, if I did pure juicy fruits, if I did melons, peaches, and oranges, and cherries, and blueberries, you know, uh, just pure juicy fruits for the next three months, 90 days, I'd probably drop like 30 pounds. I'd probably go down from 155 down to like 125. I would just drop all the weight, man. Juicy fruits is the ultimate weight loss food. Okay, so... If you're wondering what to eat when it comes to losing weight, focus on the juicy fruits. Now, the thing ha what happens when you eat just juicy fruits, you're, two things happen. Number one, you're a lot less likely to get the amount of calories you should be getting to maintain weight or to even gain muscle and things like that. Like when you eat juicy fruits, you just, your calories are going to be lower. But another thing happens is that when you eat juicy fruits, the food pa foods pass passes through you so quickly. So it's like you eat a dragon fruit at noon, it's out of you by 6 p.m. Look how beautiful this path is, huh? Just beautiful. Food is in and out of you at six hours. So you have no time to gain weight. You have no time to store that food. So if you're wondering how to get started, how to kickstart your weight loss journey for summer, I recommend getting on the juicy fruits. That's gonna detox you the quickest. It's gonna help you lose weight the quickest. At the same time, you can go ahead and do all your exercises. But uh, if you want a sustainable raw food diet, sustainable, yeah, sustainable raw food cleanse, like you want to extend the cleanse longer than seven days, uh, like I'm doing a seven day raw vegan cleanse starting June 1st to June 7th, it's going to be purely juicy fruit. And if you want to sustain that though, if you want to have a sustainable long term raw vegan diet when you're just brand new, you want to add in the dates, you want to add in the bananas, you want to add in the avocados. During a cleanse, during a weight loss cleanse, you're not going to want to add in avocados. There's no point. You have the avocados after the cleanse. But during the cleanse, focus on the juicy fruit as much as you can. And again, if you ever screw up, if you ever get off track, you ever go, whoops, I'm off track, you just correct course and say, oh, I'm going to get back on track. Just get right back to your goal, okay? And never, ever, ever feel guilty for slipping up and eating something that you know is probably not the best. That's just going to make you do it more. So... Keep that in mind, all right? Those are the three tips. Tip number one is to not cut your calories so damn much, just only cut your calories ever so slightly. Tip number two is to not beat yourself up, not feel guilty, and tip number three is to focus on the juicy fruits. If you want to do a seven day raw vegan cleanse with me, you can join me June 1st by the link in the description. It's called the Raw Vegan Cleanse, and uh, it's gonna be dope. It's gonna be really, really cool. Everything you need to succeed on a raw vegan diet for a seven day period is going to be uh, in that in that cleanse. Uh, like I said, if you want to extend the cleanse and stay raw longer, like for the whole summer maybe, then you're going to be incorporating some denser foods like the avocados, the dates, the bananas, and things like that. All right, so that's that. Hope you got something from this video. Uh, I think that's it. Other than that, Maybe uh, I'll see you at the Canada Fruit Fest in August. It's going to be really, really fun. And uh, if you're in Europe, in the, if you're in the UK watching this video, there's a fruit festival called the UK Fruit Fest, which I'm going to. And if you're in America, on the east side of America, then you want to come to the Woodstock Fruit Fest. So the code that you can use for all those fruit fests, whether it's the UK Fruit Fest, Canada Fruit Fest, or Woodstock Fruit Fest, code you can use to get a discount on all those festivals is the code come fruit yourself save yourself some money on tickets with that beautiful path man a beautiful path all right ciao for now much love
I'll do some spider webs. Peace.